Hey YouTube, today this video is going to be on all the Japanese maples that I have on my yard. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the oldest ones first. You can see this big pretty one right here. This is a Japanese red maple. No, it's not the blood good. It's a Japanese red maple. That's what it was sold to me as. So that's what I'm calling it. It's a, it's about six years old. We got it in 2016, no, 2015. So, um, yeah, it's about, I'll say maybe about nine or 10 feet tall. It's a good medium size. It's not a large tree. Um, it can be shaped, but um, as of right now, I'm not going to do that. But as I get closer, just want to show the color a little bit more. You can see it has a nice red color, but also... There is some green foliage in here. If you can see that, this green foliage, some of it is starting to turn green. It seems like this tree is um, only red in the spring and then it turns green after spring. So soon this whole tree is gonna be green. So this is the red Japanese maple tree um, the trunk is a good girth you can see there good size trunk and if I could get in here you can see the inside it has a nice green color to the trunk on the inside so it's a pretty tree. It's just that it don't stay red all year round. Okay, so that's the red Japanese maple. Okay, I'm gonna go over to this other one here. Oh, by the way, the red Japanese maple is six years old this one here is about five we got this like a year later so let me look at the tag because i don't remember exactly what it is okay this is a sango kaku okay that's the tag very pretty tree if I can do it all over again, I might have got two of these instead of one. But this have bright green foliage and the trunk is red. So very, very different color contrast. The trunk is red, the stems are red. Everything is red, but the leaves. Okay, so this one is about nine feet tall. And it probably needs a little trimming too, but again, I'm not going to trim. The bottom part of the trunk is a good, good size. You can see it's split in the middle. It seems like a common thing with Japanese maples. They have like a split in the middle. Okay. Stems are bright, bright red. Bright, bright red, so pretty.
very pretty tree lime green leaves red trunk red stems very pretty now in the store recently i saw this tree for i think 200 dollars at a at a nursery in atlanta so and it was a little bit smaller than this so it's you know they get pricey like the bigger they are so if you're into japanese maples and you want a affordable tree you have to get it smaller um okay and i got this geese following me over here all right moving right along gonna start with the other ones now this is a front view of the japanese maple that i recently bought the uki gomo there are no white leaves as of yet i'm waiting to see when the leaves are gonna start turning color and let me go on the back end so as you can see very nice lime green color no white as of yet no white right now i'm getting just pure green no white so i'm waiting to see when that's gonna happen but i mean still a nice tree very very pretty tree even though there's no white i love the structure of the tree i love the color the trunk is brown up here but down here it's green i hope i could capture that okay yeah it's green at the bottom which is weird The bottom is green, but the top part is brown. I just wish the green would be like throughout the whole thing, but we'll see what happens. It's still a young tree. I believe this tree, I bought it as a three gallon. So it's probably like three or four years old. So that's the Uki Gomo Japanese maple. Okay, let me go to the other two that I have in the back. Okay, so these two that's in here are blood goods, Japanese maple blood goods. So these are our first two Japanese maple blood goods. Not sure about the age. We bought these as a two gallon. I believe they're they were two gallon when we bought them so um not sure how old they are they could be a year old it could be two um but these are supposed to stay red throughout the year but we'll see what happened um you know for now they're red I want to see if the color will make maintain throughout the year and see if we have any changes at all, if any. I do see a little red at the bottom. 
over here. I mean, a little green right here. Some leaves down here are still green. So they're pretty trees, really pretty. Okay, so that's those two. And that's it for me, guys. So I have five Japanese maple trees, two blood goods, one Japanese red, and one Sango Kaku, and one Uki Gummo. So thank you guys for watching my video. If you have any questions, or comments please leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching have a good day